There has been 11 days in politics that we have never seen before. In the span of less than two weeks, a time that was supposed to be a peak of Fat Ass 45's first term has turned into one of the lowest points of his squadroncy. And with a series of clear missteps leaving Fat Ass 45 and many of his closest allies infected with the coronavirus and weighed, and weighed, and really weighed down on the polls. It began when Fat Ass 45 nominated a new Supreme Court justice and then became then became a bombshell of, um, from New York Times uh, from a New York Times story revealing just how little the fat ass paid in taxes. And while a story like that normally would have led national headlines for weeks, all eyes pivoted toward Fat Ass 45's positive coronavirus diagnosis and subsequent hospitalization. It comes less than a month away before the 2020 presidential election. There's only like a couple weeks left. The latest CNN poll out Tuesday showed Democratic nominee Joe Biden with the widest lead in the election cycle and both vice presidential nominees gearing up for that debate on that partic- on that Wednesday, which they already had that debate particularly. Fat S25, meanwhile, is promising a return to the campaign trail, even though it's not clear when he'll, re- when he'll re- recover from the virus. So here's a look at the last 11 days that have happened leading up to the storyline. Saturday... A fat ass forty um whatever day it was uh, this was from October seventh it would have been Wednesday so that Saturday before, um a fat ass forty five nominates Barrett to the Supreme Court as the pandemic continued to rage against uh, to rage across the U S fat ass forty five held a White House, um a White House Rose Garden ceremony to announce that he would nominate the dumb cunt Amy Coney Barrett to replace the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg as a justice in the Supreme Court. Um a nomina- a nomination so close to the election marked in an opportunity. For the fat ass to set himself apart in the race, nominating uh, nominating a third Supreme Court justice in one in one squatter will term and potentially cementing a conservative court for a generation. The event brought in a prominent uh, brought in prominent supporters and Senate allies from across the country. Most of them declined to wear a face mask because they're inbred. That's why they're fucking retarded. Um, cameras captured. Audience members in the Rose Garden sitting close together, and some were seen greeting one another with close hugs and kisses. Gay, but uh, you know, in the days after the announcement, um, I'm not a hugging person, but yeah, in the days after the announcement, several of those audience members caught getting close on camera, or listed as attendees, um, including former New Governor New Jersey Gov- including former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and Utah Senator Mike Lee. They both tested positive for the coronavirus, and at least three journalists and several White House aides near the fat ass would test positive. Also, going from Sunday and Monday, New York Times published the the Fat Ass 25 tax, tax story and backlash ensues. A, a, a comprehensive report published by the New York Times indicated that Fat Ass 45 paid no federal income taxes whatsoever in 10, of, in 10, of 15, in 10 out of the 15 years going from 2000 because he reported losing significantly more than he made, which technically he made more than what he lost. But yeah, in both the year he won the squad and in his first year in the White House, Fat Ass 45 only paid just $750 in federal taxes the Times had reported. Detailing payments gleaned from more, from, from more than two decades of tax information. <coughs> the Times report outlines um, extensive financial losses and years of tax avoidance that deal a blow to the business tycoon brand Fat Ass 45 has built his political career on. Um, Fat, Ass, Fat Ass 45 has denied the, ta- the Times reporting and claims that he pays a lot that he pays a lot in federal income taxes yet bullshit. The likelihood that Fat Ass 45 personally o- um, owes un- unknown creditors hundreds of millions of dollars, as revealed by the fa- by the Times, has also raised concerns about how the Fat Ass's financial entanglements could influence his national security decisions, former officials and experts told CNN. The report also fueled the fresh attacks on the Fat Ass in the final weeks of the squatter roll debate, including Tuesday's um, squatter roll debate on that, on, that, on that Tuesday that just passed. Also on Sunday, Fat Ass 45's former campaign manager Brad Parscale was hospitalized following reports of a suicide threat at his Florida home. He later resigned from his role as a senior advisor to the campaign. Um, that the couple the Tuesday that had that had just passed would have been the sixth. That was the first presidential debate for 2020. Fat Ass 45 and Biden took um, part in the fir- in the first U.S. debate in the fir- um, first um, U.S. debate on um, for the presidential thing on um, Tuesday. Throughout the night, Fat Ass 45 interrupted Biden and the moderator faux new, news host, um, um, and, um, Chris Wallace. Bi- Biden called Fat Ass 45 a clown and told him to shut the hell up. At one point, Fat Ass 45 refused to denounce white supremacists, a comment he had made to grapple with throughout the rest of the week. He also mocked Biden for wearing a mask. And, one, and once again, the Fat Ass questioned the legitimacy of the election results and continued misleading attacks on voting by mail.
Basically, he's basically Fat S45 said he wants it to be a fair election. It will be fair if you lose. After after their face to face after the face to face six and ten debate watchers had said that Biden did the best did, did the best job in the debate, and twenty eight percent said Fat Ass Forty Five did, according to a CNN poll of debate watchers conducted by SSRS. Fat Ass Forty Five also repeatedly touted the state of the economy during the debate, but that same day Disney announced that it would be that it would be furloughing twenty eight thousand employees. Fat Ass Forty Five held a Klan rally and a private fundraiser in Minnesota on Wednesday, and despite backlash over his refusal. To denounce white supremacists, that night before, Fat Ass 45 resurfaced racist attacks on Somali refugees and, and Minnesota's Demo Democratic Rep um, Representative Ilhan Omar. On the way back to Washington after the Klan rally, officials said that one of the Fat Ass's um, top aides, Hope Hicks, began developing coronavirus symptoms and she was isolated in a separate cabin and was seen deplaning from the rear steps of Air Force One. American Airlines and United Airlines also announced that they would be laying off, off a total of 32,000 employees. After it was made clear that Congress and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin were unable to reach a deal to help their industry, on that on that particular Thursday that just passed, Fat Ass Forty Five holds a fundraiser in New Jersey despite AIDS coronavirus diagnosis. Um, officials at the White House were aware that Hope Hicks had tested positive for the coronavirus, though it's not clear exactly when her results came in or came back. Still, Fat Ass Forty Five went ahead with his schedule, holding a fundraiser at his golf club in Min in Bedminster, New Jersey. Sometime after his return from Bedminster, Fat S45 received a preliminary positive coronavirus rapid test result. He he revealed Friday at nearly 1 a.m. that he and the and the first and the first slot um, melanoma tested positive, tweeting, "Tonight at he says tonight at HOTUS, and and basically his fat ass tested positive for COVID-19, and basically, and then and then on Friday, Fat S45 Fat S45 heads to Walter Reed. The fat ass was initially being treated with the white, within the White House, but Friday afternoon the fat ass boarded Marine One, and um, well, en route to a Walter Reed Military Medical Center, where a few where the where White House officials said he would stay for treatment for a few days. White House um, officials had serious concerns about fat ass's forty fat ass forty five's health on Friday evening. CNN reported a fat ass forty five said a fat ass forty five advisor said that this is serious, describing fat ass forty five as very tired, very fatigued, and having some trouble breathing. On Saturday, on that particular Saturday that just passed, White House doctors hold a news conference. White House physician Dr. Sean Connolly and other members of the fat ass's medical team briefed reporters on on Saturday, offering a rosy assessment of fat ass forty five's condition. Connolly claimed that fat ass forty five was doing well, which I doubt, and has been a fever free for twenty four hours after contradicting CNN's reporting. After the briefing, a White House official offered a more alarming assessment of Fat Ass 45's health to reporters, saying that the Fat Ass's vitals over the last 24 hours were very concerning and were, uh, and were still not on a clear path to a full recovery. Later, the Associated Press and the New York Times identified the official as White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. <coughs> um, on Sunday, Fat Ass 45 takes a drive outside the hospital to weigh but his inbred welfare collecting trailer park supporters. One of the one of the physicians that was treating Fat Ass Forty Five, Doctor Brian Garibaldi, said Sunday that the Fat Ass that the Fat Ass is being given the the steroid drug dexamethasone as part of his COVID nineteen treatment. Later on Sunday, a still infected Fat Ass Forty Five departed Walter departed Walter Reed to slowly drive past a group of his inbred welfare collecting trailer park supporters gathered outside the the hospital, sealed inside an SUV with Secret Service agents um, donning masks. Eye protection and gowns. Fat Ass 45 also masked, waved at his inbred welfare collecting trailer park supporters along the road. Afterward, members of the Secret Service voiced escalating concern at what many of the agency's personnel have de have determined is total disregard for their well-being amid the pandemic. Um, agents have tested positive for the virus while traveling for the Fat Ass's political clan rallies, which insisted on maintaining, even against federal health guidelines, as employees self-quarantine or isolate in place. Others have been forced to work together long hours to f to fill that void. On um, on this past Monday, Fat Ass Forty Five returns to the White House. The Fat Ass announced that he would be leaving the hospital Monday afternoon via Twitter. Conley said that Fat Ass Forty Five's condition continued to improve, and um and met or exceeds all standard hospital discharge criteria. Conley also acknowledged that the Fat Ass may not be entirely out of the woods yet, but said Fat Ass Forty Five's current condition supported a safe return home. 
Badass 45, who continued to be heavily medicated, appeared to be breathing with some difficulty on Monday evening after he mounted the South Protocol staff to pose for cameras while saluting his Marine One helicopter. A White House official and a separate source close to the White House said that the, that there that there remain the remain lingering health concerns even after Fatus 45 returned home. Fatus 45 removed his mask upon his arrival at the White House, and in a propaganda video produced about his return, the Fatus who remains infected with the virus mused, "Now I'm better, and maybe I'm immune. I don't know. Technically, you can't be immune if you have if you already tested positive for the virus. You're fucking fat ass. Um, CNN poll has largest has largest Biden lead yet, and as as as, as Fatus 45 continues tweeting. Biden's advantage over over Fat S forty five expanded in a nationwide CNN poll conducted by SSRS that was released Tuesday, leading the former vice president to hold, hold to hold his widest lead of the election cycle. Among um, likely voters, fifty seven percent said they say that they back that they back Biden, and only forty one percent said they back that they back Fat S forty forty five. The poll that was conducted entirely um after the first debate and mostly after the Fat S's coronavirus infection was made public. Um, <clears throat> the White House did not announce any public, um, what they call events for the fat ass's first full day out of the hospital, and offices once buzzing with activity within the White House complex amid the pandemic were largely empty as many, um, decamped to work from home or quarantined following multiple, what they call positive coronavirus test results for the fat ass's closest aides. Um, but online, fat ass 45 has returned to business as usual and is mulling the national um, what they call address as soon as Tuesday, even though he's supposed to be recovering, he basically he will be basically will be back on the campaign trail soon. The fake news only shows the fake polls. Technically, they show the real polls. You fucking fat ass. The fat ass also declared that he will be attending next week's presidential debate in Miami, which they didn't have. They had a town hall, despite his uncertain prognosis and the potential threat that he could still be contagious by then. In another tweet, he wrote, "Feeling great, which he's not." Later, he dramatically pulled the plug on a deal to supply more stimulus funding to combat the, um, the economic losses caused by the pandemic, causing the markets to plunge just before closing time. Uh, on Wednesday was the vice presidential debate. Um, um, vice, president, vice President Mike Pence and Democratic vice presidential nominee um, Kamala Harris uh, had, had the debate on Wednesday night. Um, but the dumbass Pence and Harris have tested negative for coronavirus since Fat S for the Press diagnosis, but they will now be seated 12 feet apart after the Biden campaign raised health concerns over the initial 7 feet of distance planned. It will mark the, it will, it was, it was, um, it marked the, it marked the candidate's first face-to-face -face since Fat S for the Press diagnosis. So if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, Ryan Ben Mike, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out, and thanks for listening.